What is up, Riviere crew? This is your girl, Alice Riviere, and tonight I wanted to show you how to decorate your own origami dragon. Um, I would do like a, you know, how to teach you how to make an origami dragon, but uh, I figure it would take a long time for me to do that. And, well, I'm kind of new to the origami thing, so I figure, you know... Uh, I will provide a couple of links down below the description on how you can make a dragon. I figure I'll show you a tutorial on how to make an origami dragon in the future, but that would, I figure I'd just do this in less than three to five minutes. So I figure, why don't I decorate an origami dragon? Oh, FYI, I did make this dragon. I did make this dragon. I didn't want to, you know, let you know that I ripped this off or anything, but yeah. Well, with that being said... We're going to decorate an origami dragon, make it colorful, and I will have acrylic paints and some water to wash the paint down, and let's get started, okay? Now, before I do, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos, and let's get started with the crafts. All right. Now that, the, now that you have, like, any paint that you'd like, I'm going to... Uh, paint my dragon with like green like greenish colors because dragons are typically green and I figure I'm going to paint the dragon right about now with the green all right watch what I'm doing all right watch what I'm doing so you paint you paint on the dragon like so with like any color of your choosing. So here I'm using sea green. Figure I might make this as like a water dragon or something. Or maybe I'll do it like a tricolor dragon, like I did with the ceramic duck. Yeah, with all the three colors and stuff. I mean, it's basically the same color uh, green, but the thing is, is that, uh, I could just, yeah, why don't I just make up the, um, mix up, like, all three of the colors on my palette, that way it'll be a great idea. Alright, so, uh, I did kind of update my, uh, dragon a bit with the colors, uh, I decided to, like, mix the, uh, the different shades of green, that, that's what I was trying to say, like, the shades of green. I have, like, different, I had, like, three different shades of green, like, normal green, light green, and then the seagrass, uh, the sea green, yeah, the blue-green thing, and it's only because, you know, um, like, I figure, you know, dragons are, yeah, dragons are typically green, so I figure I'm gonna make this one kind of greenish, and he could be, you know, somewhat like a... Yeah, sort of like a watery kind of dragon. Why not, right? Yeah, so you just want to, you know, paint the dragon on the paper like so. Yeah, so nothing really too hard or anything. Yeah, fairly simple. Sorry if you didn't catch that, but yeah, like just paint the dragon with all the colors and stuff. Fairly simple. All right. Make some final touches. Um... So yeah, uh, with any color that you'd like for the dragon, just use uh, an origami dragon, fold them up, and then paint whatever colors you'd like on the dragon. And if you'd like, you can uh, paint some accessories, like some designs on the dragon, like so. So I have blue paint this time, and I figure I'll give the dragon maybe like some bloop markings, like so. Like give it like blue markings on the wings and the wingtips. And I will repeat on this side and then I will repeat on the wingtips. Alrighty then, and here is the final product of my painted origami dragon. And you could do it in like in any colors of your choice. You're not limited to green and blue. But yeah, here's the idea of it, and I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.